It's been refurbished. Uh, the first person I want to recognize is the one that was really instrumental in it, uh, Judge Marvin Queenie. and spearhead that got this all all started and going uh, the architectural firm that we used uh, Thorn and Graves we have uh, Lindsay Graves the architect and the construction company was uh, the Kaler company we have mr. Charlie Kaler with us and this is Steve Kaler and Greg Kaler Also with the Kaler Company, we have Gary Lynch. And some of the local officials and the dignitaries, I'm going to try to, try to recognize them. And we have the district clerk, Debbie Bryan. <laughs> County Treasurer, Jan Hartle. <laughs> County Auditor, Tom Dupnick. District Attorney Renee Pena, our Wilson County Librarian Nikki Storr, our County Attorney Dana Falwell, the County Commissioner Precinct 3 Ricky Morales, County, Com County Commissioner Precinct 1 Albert Gomez, Justice of the Peace Precinct 3, Joan Burdett. Uh, with Congressman Cuellar's office, Gilbert LaFuente. Commissioner 2, Precinct 2, Commissioner Fall. Precinct 4, Commissioner Larry Wiley. Our Hyperlife Extension Officer, Brian Davis. Our representative, John Keppel. <laughs> Sheriff Joe Tackett. <laughs> and from Guadalupe County, we have Commissioner uh, Greg Seidenberger <laughs> and Judy <TV> Cook. <laughs> here she is over here. Okay, I'm still. You missed Sorry, it. Yeah, you city manager? Oh, and I'm sorry, we have <laughs> Justice of the Peace, uh, Precinct 3, Sarah Kennedy. Precinct 2, Sarah Kennedy. <laughs> Good. And it's Henry. Good. City Manager, Henry Other Turner. Okay, I have missed her. And the uh, Floresville, okay, over here. Floresville City Manager, Henry Other Turner. All right. <laughs> Our county clerk, Eva Martinez. Okay, Chris Klein, the County Auditor from Guadalupe County. And Treasurer. Okay. City Councilman Jill Miller. Anybody else? Okay, I'd also like to uh, recognize some groups, uh, the people that put our display on and our refreshments, the cookies and the punch, is uh, the Bat and Three Oaks Family and Community Education Association. They're seated here. We've got Jane Beckel and the Wilson County Historical Society. They're also seated here. And the AgriLife Extension Office. Uh, Ryan Davis and his helpers, they're, they're here somewhere. They're the ones that are, are putting on the refreshments for sure. Appreciate that. Okay, I'm going to try to give you a little bit of timeline as to what, now how the courthouse and how it was started and how it uh, was built. Okay, this beautiful Wilson County Courthouse that you see in front of you was built in 1884. It replaced the courthouse which had been on the site where the Tommy Harry drugstore was. It burnt in May of 1883. But the plans for this courthouse were already taking shape. 
The famed architect Alfred Giles started designing this prestigious building in 1883. Today it is the only Alfred Giles courthouse still being used for its original function. Sydney Lee had the contract to build this structure, and then there are names both on the side of the courthouse right here. The first cornerstone was laid by acting Grand Marsh Master G.D. Gilliam of the Grand Lodge of Texas on February the 22nd, 1884. The courthouse was completed February 1st, 1885, and the first commissioner's court meeting was held February 9th, 1985. The original cost of this courthouse was $31,005.20. I included all the It has gone through some restorations and some repairs and remodels over the year. On October 30th, 1930, the grand jury made a voluntary inspection of the Wilson County Courthouse and found its physical condition to be deplorable and badly in need of general repairs. On October 5th, 1935, the president approved WPA funds in the amount of $4,000 for improvement to the Wilson County Courthouse building. The total cost was to be between $7,000 and $10,000. All labor would be under WPA supervision. The work began May 1936. In 1960, the courthouse was repaired again. These repairs included the addition on the north end of the courthouse, which now houses the county clerk, county treasurer, and AgriLife Extension Office. A report from the Stockdale Star on February 14th of 1974 said the courthouse had been repaired. So in the early 70s, it had gone through more repairs, and also again in 1986. Okay. Shortly after we celebrated our sesquicentennial in 2010, and it became apparent the building had shifted with the lack of foundation was now unsafe. In 2011, county offices housed in this old courthouse were moved to the old Floresville Elementary Building on 4th Street. November 5th, 2013, voters passed certificates of obligation to stabilize, refurbish the courthouse, and remodel the old school for a new criminal justice center, district courtroom, and another wing for the Wilson County Stem 4 Junior Memorial Library. On November 30th, 2015, the county offices moved back in the courthouse. The courthouse is graced with a medallion showing that it is showing it to be on the National Registry of Historic Places and it's displayed the Texas historical as, as a Texas historical marker in front of the building. It is still beautiful, majestic, and stately in function, and it remains a historic treasure for all to see. We are still under construction. We are still working on the Criminal Justice Center and we are soon to start the library, okay? We're gonna have another get together after that's all completed. But right now, I did not want to wait a year for somebody to be able to see the courthouse. I didn't want to, it to be an old, not newsworthy anymore. So that's the reason we're having the open house today and we will celebrate again when all of our construction is complete. But now I want everybody to enjoy this beautiful building, enjoy some refreshments, and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Come on in. Come on in. It's a relic to see.